Hey everyone, uh, before we start today's video, I just wanted to address a couple of things on this channel. So the two roller skating videos that I posted on my channel, I actually didn't expect for it to get as many views or comments as it did. First, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has watched the video and left me a comment. Because of all of you that have watched the videos, I have been able to monetize my YouTube channel. And the second thing that I want to address is something that I have been getting a lot um, in the comments of these videos. One thing that I did want to say is that I actually do own a helmet and no I have not worn it and I agree with a lot of the comments that you know the first few weeks of me skating I should have been wearing a helmet but it was my own personal choice to not wear a helmet and I do accept full responsibility and consequences for not wearing a helmet. I just want to apologize if I offended any of you or if it just made me come across as very ir irresponsible for not wearing the helmet. I really had no intention of offending anybody or you know making anybody mad. I really do appreciate all of the comments saying that I should be wearing a helmet or you know questioning why I wasn't wearing a helmet because it is genuine concern that I'm wearing all of these you know elbow pads knee pads and wrist pads but I'm not wearing a helmet so I really do want to thank all of you that have left a comment on those videos about that since those videos of me first learning how to skate I actually don't fall as often as it shows in those videos anymore so again I just wanted to start the video off by saying that I really do appreciate each and every one of your comments I apologize but this is just a personal choice that I I chose to not wear my helmet. I know I've said before that you should always wear your protective gear, especially if you're a beginner, and I apologize for not fully practicing what I preach, but it is ultimately your decision to decide if you want to wear your protective gear or not. For anyone that mentions that I have kids watching me, my YouTube channel and both of those roller skating videos um, are set to not made for kids. So I hope this clears everything up. I really did not mean to cause any trouble and I didn't mean to make anyone mad. So thank you all again for your concern. Thank you for listening and let's just get started with this video. What's up everyone, it's Linda and welcome back to the channel. So before I start this video, I just want to clarify that this isn't going to be a full on roller skating channel. Um, roller skating is just one of my few hobbies that I have and I will continue to post more roller skating videos, but that's not going to be the main purpose of this channel. So I got a lot more views on the roller skating videos and a lot more feedback than I imagined that I would get. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that has watched those videos and has left me nice comments and left me messages on my roller skating pages telling me that I have motivated you to start picking up roller skating again. It honestly just makes me feel so happy that just me documenting my first 30 days inspired so many people to get back on skates and even motivate some people to buy roller skates in the first place. So again, thank you guys for all the nice messages. I really truly appreciate them. All of those messages make my day. Along with those nice messages, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions from other beginner skaters as well, asking me where they should start or if I have any other tips for them besides what they saw in my videos. So this video is going to be as it states in the title title what I wish I knew when I first got my roller skates and also just you know tips tools resources tutorials um, everything that I mention, every person that I mention, uh, everything will be linked in the description below so if you guys need any help I will provide the resources that I personally use that I found helpful so again I still am a very very baby beginner skater myself so this video is from a beginner to other beginner skaters. If I left out anything in this video that you guys also have found helpful throughout your beginning skating time, please leave your resources, your tips, your tricks in the comments below because I'm sure other beginner skaters would love to read the comments and just love to get tips from other people. So without further ado, let's just start the video. So I'm gonna separate this video into four categories. The first one is just tips that I personally recommend. Um, the second one is gear. And the third one is tools. And then the fourth one is just YouTube channels and people People that I recommend following and so I'm going to be starting off with some tips so I think from the very very beginning if you have not bought your roller skates yet is to just do your research on the company that you would like to purchase from and also the sizing for a regular shoe size I am a 9 for my Impala skates I am a size 9 but for my moonlight roller skates I am a size 8 so just make sure you order the correct skate size for whatever shoe size you are so when you get your skates I would say the most important tip that I wish I knew from the start when I very first got my skates was to loosen your 
trucks and your wheels. I know that sounds really intimidating and that's probably why it took me so long into the 30 days of skating for me to finally loosen them. It'll help you roll better, it'll help you turn better. Like there's a very, very informative video that's straight to the point about why and how you can loosen your trucks and skates by Rebel from Queer Girl Straight Skates. Again, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description below so you can just refer to that whenever you need it. Another important tip is learning how to fall. Um, in my first week of roller skating, I went into it without watching any tutorial videos at all and I also didn't know how to fall. And after the first week of learning how to skate, I got incredibly bad whiplash from falling and not controlling my neck, not knowing to you know, lean forward, bend my knees. Um, it's very important to learn how to fall because it prevents yourself from a lot of other worse injuries that you could get. The next thing I would recommend is watching videos on different ways to stop. There are a few ways to learn how to stop from my knowledge and that is using your toe stop, doing the T-stop and doing a plow stop. There might be a few more ways to learn how to stop but those are the three that I'm aware of. I personally like to do the plow stop because I don't skate with toe stops in most of the time. So yeah, learning how to stop at least one way is very important to learning how to skate. The last tip I have for you is probably to learn the difference between the types of wheels. There are different types of wheels for different terrains. So if you're skating indoors, outdoors, if you're doing distance skating, dance skating, there are different types of wheels for all of that. And the final tip I would have to say is to just learn how to properly clean your wheels and bearings. So now that we've gone over the tips, I'm gonna go into the gear that I recommend. This section's really short. The biggest part that I would recommend getting if you are starting out um, beginning skating is your protective gear. And by protective gear, I mean elbow pads, wrist pads, and knee pads. I would also recommend a helmet and also butt pads. If you feel you need the extra safety or the extra padding, then I would recommend getting a butt pad, but I personally did not use one when I started. I personally do also have a helmet, but I have yet to use it because I don't do any extreme skating like derby skating or skate park skating. I kind of just recreationally skate around a basketball court practicing dance skate moves. I do, however, still use my protective equipment. It's a personal choice. I know a lot of people prefer not to wear the protective pads because it's just kind of uncomfortable, but it makes me feel safer to wear it, so I choose to, but it's really ultimately up to you. But I do recommend if you're at least just a beginner skater with no prior experience at all to get some sort of protection. Another thing I would recommend getting is a skate leash. Now a skate leash looks like this. Um, I have two of them because I have two pairs of skates, but it's basically, if you've never seen it, it's like a yoga mat strap and it has two loops at the end for you to loop your roller skates through and it's just a really convenient way to carry your skates over your shoulder. I personally don't like tying my laces to each other on each skate and then throwing it over my shoulder. Again, ultimately it's up to you because I know roller skates do cost a lot and buying accessories and buying gear for things does add up so you don't necessarily need it but for me I personally prefer using the skate leash the last thing I would recommend getting is jam plugs now I think this only is important if you guys are interested in learning how to dance skate and I'm more interested in learning how to do that so um, what the jam plug is is this little stop right here that basically plugs into the toe stop. I skate with my toe stops off because I like to do a lot of dance skating moves that requires it to um, that requires not having a toe stop in. Again, it's personal preference of what type of roller skating you wanna get into. If you're learning how to roller skate so you can go to a skate park, I wouldn't recommend it because you need your toe stops at the skate park. But again, dance skating, jam plugs. Okay, so next we're gonna get into tools. I don't currently have all of the tools on me at the second, but I'll insert pictures if I need to reference anything. So the first tool I would recommend getting is either the T tool or the Y, the Powerdyne Y3 skate tool. And it all depends on the type of toe stop that you have. So for my Impala skates, I did have a bolt-on toe stop. So the T-tool worked well for me because it comes with a screwdriver that you can use to take the toe stops out. Um, I don't think you need both the T-tool and the Powerdyne Y3 skate tool, but the Powerdyne Y3 skate tool is very convenient because it has the um, open face wrench for the adjustable toe stop. The adjustable toe stop has like this nut or bolt. I'm sorry, I don't know the term the correct term for this, but um, it has this on there and you need that open face wrench to unlock, uh, to loosen it or to adjust it. I started skating with my Impala skate and it has the bolt-on one. So this tool was enough for me because I could use this side to loosen my trucks and then I could lose this side to loosen my wheels. The Y3 skate tool also has the size where you can loosen your trucks and your wheels. So that's why I say you only need one or the other depending on what toe stop you have. I know that the C7 skate and the Impala skate has a bolt-on 
toe stop and then the moonlight rollers the moxies they all have an adjustable toe stop so just do your research on which toe stop you have if you're not sure of it so some of you might already have these tools at home for you to adjust your wheels and your trucks and everything i do recommend just getting one of these because they're really cheap on amazon and it's really convenient for when you go out skating like at the beach or something and if something comes loose or you need to tighten something or fix something it's just convenient to carry in your backpack or a fanny pack it is easier to just carry this around instead of a whole toolbox when you're skating out and about <laughs> this tool is not necessary and i personally don't have one but i would recommend for beginner skaters that don't really know how wheels and things work to get the bones bearings tool now the bones bearings tool is like an easy removable bearings tool that you can use it's currently sold out at a lot of places so i understand that it might be difficult to find but if you don't know how to use the axle of your truck to remove the bearing from your wheel when you're cleaning it the bones bearing tool is very convenient especially for beginners if you can't get your hands on a bones bearing tool remover uh, there are tons of videos on youtube to learn how to remove bearings just from the axle the next tool i guess really isn't a tool but it goes hand in hand with the bearings thing is the bones bearings cleaner now the bones bearings cleaner does not come with the alcohol solution so you need to do some research on whether you want to get acetone or 100 percent alcohol to clean your bearings and another thing that isn't really a tool but something i recommend is just keeping another set of bearings um, in stock just in case one of your bearings does break and last but not least we're going to get into the youtube channels and people that i recommend watching that have personally helped me so much the first person i recommend is dirty deb from the dirty school of skate now dirty deb basically taught me everything i know just from her youtube videos she explains everything down to a t everything is simple straightforward slow and she's also very responsive on instagram the next person i'm recommending is nicole fiore i believe she is an artistic dancer skater I'm not sure if that term is correct correct me if I'm wrong she has a bunch of tutorials as well and she explains things kind of differently from dirty Deb so if things aren't really clicking in an explanation that dirty Deb explains I sometimes go to Nicole Fiore's channel the next person I recommend is rebel from queer girl straight skates the next channel I would recommend is the moxie roller skates channel there's a bunch of tutorials on there as well and if you're interested in learning dance skating or jam skating like I am I would recommend errant flow or I I'm Cherry Let's Skate. They both have great tutorials and great drills for you to follow if you're trying to learn how to dance skate. And I think that concludes the video. So if you guys have any other tips, tools, or YouTube channels or people that you recommend watching, please leave them down in the comments below because I would love to check them out. And I'm sure other beginner skaters would love to check them out as well. And if you have made it this far into the video, I want to announce that I will be doing a giveaway. All the things that I purchased that I will be giving away have not been delivered yet. So I'm just going to leave the pictures of what I'm giving away here. So this giveaway is going to be open now until this date right here. And I apologize, but this giveaway is only open to US residents 18 and over right now. And the giveaway rules are pretty simple. Be subscribed to my channel, follow my skate page on Instagram. It is at skate with Linda. And leave a comment down below why you love roller skating or why you're interested in starting to roller skate with your Instagram handle. So again, all you have to do is follow those rules and I will be picking a winner and announcing it on my Instagram on this date. And again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!